Hi, Paul Slack is Good News Plan. I'm speaking to Alan Blum. Hi, Alan. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Paul. Good. You're president and founder of Five Point Snacks, and uh, congratulations on creating a good company. Well, thank you. And the company's doing good here, and uh, you're announcing on the 4th of July uh, about ways to, in essence, help our heroes um, in the service, and uh, even looks like your packaging has uh, some uh, due respect and the name of your product. So tell us about your company and uh, one small snack company, one great mission. Well, the uh, quick answer to the question of, uh, you know, what is the company is that we are a snack company that is giving back to veterans uh, five cents presently uh, on the purchase of any of the five products we have in the market um, goes goes to the Bob Woodruff Foundation. Uh, We've aligned with them. Bob Bob is the... um, uh, newscaster on ABC who was injured uh, in Afghanistan and created a foundation and they deal largely with post-traumatic stress but dealing with veterans at all levels and with a number of organizations so we help support them with the contributions we raise from these products um, right now we have five uh, products in the marketplace uh, they're all salty snacks so a pretzel potato chip popcorn a tortilla chip and cheese crunch and each of the products is was designed specifically to reflect one uh, reflect and honor one of the five branches of the military so we have GI crunches which are the cheese crunch and that's uh, specific to the army and the packaging the design of the package and everything is is really very reflective of the army we have sailor knots which is the uh, Coast Guard and the packaging feels like that. The flotilla tortillas are the, the Navy, et cetera. So, so we have these five um, uh, products, and each of them uh, looking like they came, you know, were inspired by the military and ultimately a give back to veterans. That's the, that's the concept. And I'm looking at the packaging. It's quite uh, unique. Well, uh, thank you. I, uh, the porthole, you got the tortillas, uh, Tortilla, flotilla, tortillas. Uh, right there you the go. Pretty... I, I love it. I love that you said flotilla tortillas because that's the that's what you should say, and uh, that's the fun of it. You know, we we chose snacks as a concept when we thought about it because it's such a great counterpoint to the experience that any veteran has had. I mean, the the, the uh, gravity, the seriousness of their. Um, of their work and, and their commitment to this country is in such counterpoint to the frivolousness of snacks. Mm-hmm. And uh, we, we wanted to create something that was light and had a smile and had an attitude, you know, had a very positive and upbeat attitude. And so, so you're, you're, you just played right into it, the flotilla tortillas. And in fact, we, um, our, our potato chip is uh, called um, uh, Major Murphy's, yeah, uh, and uh, and and the nice part of that is the the tagline to the t- potato chip is um, cut from a thicker skin, which we really like. But but Major Murphy's was originally going to be Private Idaho's, <laughs> and uh, we got uh, dinged in the trademark area because Idaho actually owns the trademark on anything potato related that is uh, that uses the name Idaho. So uh, we mm-hmm. we lost out. But it was all to, it's all been designed to have, you know, put a smile on someone's face and give them and, – and honor and respect the work that has been done. I mean, that these uh, heroes have, done, have given. I can uh, respect what you're doing. I, actually, my uncle started a whole potato business based upon his kitchen patrol. He and his buddy used to be fooling around a lot in the Army and the service. And they said, whenever we get out of here, you know, they have to peel the potatoes and the onion. When we get out of here, we're opening a potato company. <laughs> <laughs> well, this, I, I, what a great story because that really, that image of the Army guys peeling potatoes was the first image, honest to God, was the first image that my partner had that fueled this entire, the, the entire company. Oh, was the right? guy peeling, yeah, originally, uh, and this is not so much off the record as it's, uh, it's irrelevant, but just between, you know, just as we're talking, the original concept was why don't we do five products, the same five we have now, but call them Army brand potato chips and Navy brand pretzel knots and, you know, uh-huh. and give them each a little bit of a twist and, and ultimately quickly realized you can't just, you know, call something army brand and not to have a license from the u.s army so so we we made modifications and changed it but the the 
actual original image was these guys peeling potatoes. Like who better than a than a uh, than an army guy? to give you a good potato chip, you know? So why not? You trust that. And there's your uncle's story. It's perfect. And, uh, and we have other uh, similarities here, So because we've uh, been very uh, outgoing uh, to do respect of the, the service people. Uh, in fact, we just did a show with uh, uh, Lee Woodruff. Uh, uh, Bob couldn't make it that night with actually the Mental Health Association here in New York City. There was an event. Uh, to raise some money. She was the host and talked about her organization and all the good that those guys are doing. Uh, and on the 27th of July, actually, we have a veterans uh, uh, event uh, planned for uh, Webster Hall. So um, oh, I was very happy to see what you were doing, and that was a good impetus for good news to, uh, um, you know, as you are concerned, uh, we're concerned as well uh, in due respect to uh, those that, in essence, you know, in the name of peace, are are putting their lives on the line, right? Well, you grew up with, uh, you know, kind of a, a sense of what it was to serve just from your family, from your uncle, and and I, you know, I, I know it. Run, I can I can tell it runs deep in you. I didn't have that. Uh, I came to it much more much later. I mean, my father was in the Army Reserves, so you know, I, I guess there was some connection, but it wasn't the same. Uh, it wasn't the same as people who went off and fought. And when, you know, after 9-11, as uh, our country, you know, realized it, you know, it became all hands on deck and there was this need to, to do something, um, it, it became much more clear to me that the commitment and sacrifice that these really, you know, young kids in many cases make uh, is beyond anything I've ever experienced. I mean, it's, and, and the humility that every one of them has. You know, you talk to, to guys who are home, and you, and you think the response to, aren't you glad to be home, would be, of course, an, un, you know, an unmitigated yes. They're, these people are saying, you know what, it's nice to be home, but my brothers and sisters are over there, and I sometimes feel like I belong there. And it's really uh, just, you know, it sends chills up my spine. And I, I feel like it's the least we can do. Um, you know, I, I, on one hand, I feel like this is the least we can do. On the other hand, I wish, I, I think everybody could, whether it's, whether it's this cause or another, I think all consumption could somehow tie itself to purpose-based giving in a, in a much more positive way. I don't think we have to just be, you know, one-way consumers. I think it's a, it could be a much more of a two-way street. And uh, that's that's also what I'm hoping to prove with this is that there's an opportunity in the same way that other companies had Newman's. You know, Newman's kind of early early on figured it out that we can, you know, kind of consume collaboratively and uh, we can, you know, experience that connection <clears throat> with people that we don't even know uh-huh. uh, just by just by eating. You know, when we we did an event yesterday at Fort Hamilton, a, an Independence Day event, and Everybody, you know, the vendors that are there, uh, we were next, situated next to the New York Yankees, which was next to the, New York, the, the Brooklyn Nets. So everybody, you know, a few vendors and people got to come out and, and, do, and do this brand. Tell me, where, where can, we get, uh, can we get some of your products? Originally, I think I, naive, I had a naive sense that the idea of going into the snack business was going to be, if not easy, at least doable. And I think I underestimated... Um, the tremendous uh, power that a um, that a Frito Lay has, with almost an eighty percent market share of all salty snacks sold in America, and that is a uh, that's a little um, that's a tough fight. Uh, not that I want to pick a fight. I just wanted to offer the world an alternative, but uh, it's hard to it's hard to get into stores that way. So. We um, we were looking for a slightly different model after we launched. Uh, we launched last uh, Veterans Day, 11-11. And we, we were kind of trying to figure out, is there another model? And at the very same moment, the co-packer uh, we were uh, working with, who was making, who was made the, the snacks, um, they decided that they, wa- they really loved what we were doing and they were committed to wanting to kind of get involved. And... We worked out a very different arrangement where they, um, and, and um, it's the Bachman Company, 
So they're the pretzel makers and very well known, and they make a really great quality product in everything they do. Um, they're actually now um, uh, serving as the licensing. Uh, uh, they're licensing the brand from us, and 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 that's not really important. I know I don't want us to get off on that tangent. Well, the point is that they are able to get this into a lot more places than we ever could uh, when, we were, when we were selling ourselves. And so we're now in about a thousand stores, but they, they kind of vary throughout the Northeast. And the best way to find out what those stores are is to go onto our website and there's a locator. And um, you know, some of the big names are there. But it's the easiest way is to punch in a zip code and, and see if, where, where we where the closest point is, and it's primarily uh, the Northeast and now the East Coast spreading out, and we're also at the uh, DECA commissaries uh, on bases, and we're going to have a nice big push there uh, starting in the fall. So, mm -hmm. hey, great, super duper. Congratulations and, to you. Well, thank you very much. I really uh, appreciate that. It's been a uh, it's been very rewarding, and I, uh, I, I, I'm excited to forget even this. I'm excited to know you and what you're doing because I think that's, you know, tremendous. To, to honor good in the world is exactly what we should all be doing. Well, I appreciate that as well. And right, last question, then what's good news for you? Good news for me here. The, I, can do, I can reduce it to it's, it's a phone call from my daughter in, in uh, Bangkok telling me she's okay. Uh, but on a, on a more macro level, it's, it's, it's people uh, kind of recognizing that they can bring light into the world in a very positive way and, and trying to fulfill that. And, I, 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 you know, whether it's family or, or others, I, I really love um, seeing how people are trying to, you know, leave a better, a better uh, Im imprint on this world uh, for having been here than, than not, and that, that's inspiring. 